What's up, my green kitty cats? How you guys doing? I had some time today to make some videos, so I make a video. Hopefully, you guys like my last video, a couple of videos. I'm starting to have a little more time. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to put my piece on my phone. Hold on, y'all. Turn my heat. Okay. Oh, why I look like a little greasy kitty, y'all? Hold up, now. Hold on, now. Hey, y'all. Yeah, I'm out here today. Do you hear me? Yeah, a little pretty girl in purple is out here today, y'all. I look cute. I put my little lashes on, y'all. Did my little nails, you know. Anyway, I'm here at Taco Bell. I haven't ate all day. I'm so hungry. Hold on, y'all. Hi. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Yes. Strawberry lemonade. I don't like that strawberry lemonade. It's nasty. But I don't drink soda, y'all. So I gotta have that because I don't drink soda. Thank you. And can I have two large bags to go? Thank you. In a spoon. Let me tell y'all, it's kind of a little spicy, y'all. Like, ever since I had my son in there, why do I look greasy? What is going on? Like, I'm like, I'm been sweating or something. I ain't been sweating or nothing. What the fuck? Maybe it's my makeup. Maybe it's the lighting. Maybe it's the shine. <laughs> Maybe it's the glory. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Um, I used to can eat spicy food. I actually love spicy food, right? And let me know down in the comments if things have changed once you had a baby. Like crazy shit. Shit that shouldn't even change, right? So when I was pregnant with my last son, um, he didn't like me to eat spicy food. Like every time I would eat spicy food, I would get sick, right? So for the whole eight months, because I never do nine, for the whole eight months, I couldn't eat nothing spicy, right? He had more limitations, but spicy was one of the biggest. And so, and so, um, the shit, ketchup if you have it in a spoon. A ketchup if you have it in a spoon. And so, um, and so, for eight months, I couldn't. Yeah, one of the large bags. Yeah, yeah, like okay. this. Two of them. And napkins, uh-huh. One extra one or just two? Two, two, uh-huh. Taco Bell, y'all. Thank you. And some extra napkins. You gave me a spoon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Okay. Okay, y'all, we're gonna pull out this parking lot and then I'll continue back to talking. Because this parking lot is so tight. Y'all see it? It's so tight, y'all. God damn. Hold on. Shit. Hold on, y'all. Oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. It gets bigger as you go. Okay. All right. I don't really like my haircut no more. But. It was, it's like two Wakanda forever, but it's okay. My hair growing, my hair grow back really fast. So the design is coming, uh, going away. So I can now get a different haircut. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I have to find my way. So give me a second, y'all. What I would like to eat right there. Hold on, y'all. Let me see if it's going to be possible for me to park right here. Like, you don't think you should get over, stupid bitch? Stupid bitch drivers get on my nerves. Okay. And why do you have your bright-ass lights on? What is wrong with you? Can't nobody see with them bright-ass lights? Well, I do need the lights to make the video. So, yeah, keep your lights on. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. I can ooh, ooh. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm glad he got his lights on because it can help me with y'all seeing me. Anyway, y'all... scoop back hold on y'all so i am so hungry i haven't ate all day it's 8 30 
it's 8 30 or 7 30 no i think it's 8 30 yes yeah, 8 30 going on nine o'clock i'm tired i've been handling business all day i picked up my kids from daycare dropped them off with my nanny um so she could do what she does with them and i'm having time so i can eat and then i'm on my way back so before i get home i wanted to eat happy easter happy resurrection i hope everyone had a beautiful passover a beautiful easter i hope you guys feel renewed i hope you guys really got something out of it this year and more than just it being a holiday or it being one day you know god was really ministering to me over this these couple of weeks this weekend you know kind of getting my mind right setting my goal just kind of letting me know that you know he is alive and he's going to make things happen and move things around and he's just for me no matter what you know so that's what i got out of this um so that's that but let me get back to what i was just saying because i want to finish my thought so um for eight months i couldn't eat spicy food so after i had my baby i'm like oh i'm gonna be able to fuck something up because i used to love some hot fries hot chips just hot food period you know and i wasn't crazy with it you know what i'm saying but i was at least able to eat it do you know i can barely have eat um ketchup it's too spicy for me like i can't eat anything hot like it's extremely ridiculous and i'm so mad because now now, it seemed like the world has well the world has changed but it seemed like now people cater more to spicy people see when i was growing people catered to sweet people so everything was honey and sweet sweet this honey this you get what i'm saying now everything is chipotle this hot fire this you know volcano that you know what i'm saying and now i can't even get with the times that's how my ass got fat with the with the with the era of honey this sugar that brown sugar wing this and that's how my ass got fat and i needed the goddamn weight loss surgery now we in the era of spicy shit and they make spicy shit just even if you don't like spicy shit you don't even know it's spicy you know so is it taco bell or del taco one of them is really spicy the meat is too spicy for me i think it's taco bell i think i can't eat del taco meat i don't know i can't remember but well, we're gonna find out hopefully y'all can see me it's kind of dark so i just got a chalupa y'all not gonna see me eat because y'all know i don't eat in front of people let me know if y'all do want to see how I eat. A, a sour cream chicken chalupa. And for the ones who ask me, how do you eat this? I don't. I break it down. I suck on it. And then I have two bags because I spit it out. Some things I'm able to eat and some things I'm not. For instance, so I got that just to give my mouth some type of taste to make my, my brain be pleasured like I'm a real person. But this is normally what I would really eat, which is a five layer burrito, which is rice, I mean, which is beans, cheese, sour cream. Um, I got a headache. Cheese, sour cream, beans, meat, you know, and it's really soft and it's a burrito so um i try to kind of gum on this a little bit or i'll get a spoon as he gave me and i would just spoon it out um sometimes i may just get the bowl and let them do it but i don't i like to kind of act like i'm a person so you know i don't always like to get a bowl like today i went to ihop i had a kind of like a girl's day out i had a couple associates that i talked to here and there and um i had like a little cute little girl that's why i'm all dude do dude, dude up you know, I know i don't do too much of this makeup shit and all of that but um i had like a little girl's day out because my kids been on spring break y'all know that plus um in my area the teachers was on strike for a whole week so i had to um I've been dealing with my kids or having them for like two, three weeks, like straight. You know what I'm saying? So even though, and then like one week they couldn't go to daycare. 
so I had, you know, so it's a lot because I got five kids, you know what I'm saying? So it's a whole lot. So I, I it was a much needed Monday. I rest. I didn't do anything, y'all. I, all I did, I didn't even take my kids to school or pick them up. I had my husband take them to school and I had my husband pick them up from daycare. I stayed home all day yesterday and I needed the rest. And then today I said, okay, I got to get on my business. You know, I'm going to try to rest like I did on Monday one more time this week. I know tomorrow I'm not going to be able to do it, but I'm going to try to do it one more time this week before they get out of school, you know, just to kind of regroup myself. But I did have, if I'm talking fast, y'all, it's because I'm hungry and I don't like when my food get cold. So I'm trying to kind of give you guys a video real quick, you know. Um, but I did have a, like, a little girls day out with two of my little associates. We came to IHOP. And we went to the mall. I just got a couple of things. My money ain't all the way right right now. So I just got just something from the mall. Just to be having something, you know. Um, but what I can say, uh, when I get paid, I will be back at this uh, at the Lakewood Mall. Because they got this new Versace purple perfume, y'all. Let me tell I am a I am a perfume consumer. I love perfume. I love I love body wash. I love, I love smell goods. I'm a girly girl when it comes to that. I love, I smell good all the time. I have different flavors, different perfumes. I, I'm in love with the different lotions, different candles. I'm that type of girl, okay? Um, and so I went into Macy's and I was just smelling things. I was really going there because I seen they had the new Dior and I like that. The Dior was good. And I thought I was going to get the Dior when I get paid. But honey, she had turned me around, had spent me around and let me smell the Versace. Because I had the pink one and I've had the yellow one. I did not, the, the, the purple one just came out three weeks ago. So of course I haven't had that one. And it smells hitter, y'all. It smells like no other. So I definitely want to purchase a bottle um, of that, you know, when I get paid. So that's where I went. Um, all, but Bath, Bath and Body Works has been really coming together. I went there. They had really beautiful um, smells for the spring. I mean, they had something with ginger and something. It was green. And it, it was. And then it had another purple something. It was like, oh, my God. You know, because I was kind of kind of getting over. I love Bath and Body Works. But I was kind of getting the same shit. They really, they really did some good shit. I'm not going to lie. So I can't wait to get that bundle deal. Uh, when I get paid so I just went in there just to get me something I had to get me something at the, out the mall you know um so I just got some hand sanitizers I got like four of them four for 22 dollars or whatever these are new smells I haven't had I am a um I am a uh hand sanitizer freak I'm a sanitizer freak period like everything is, is sanitized i have sanitized wipes sanitized every foot spray everything um but i never i didn't have any of these like these you know i have the regular olive oil not olive oil aloe, aloe vera whatever i have the regular basic hand sanitizers no scent kind because i don't buy the fake scent kind uh -uh. so I, I wanted some of these because i use a uh, hand sanitizer often a lot and I love this because it makes your hands smell so good. Um, hopefully it's cleaning it. I don't know how effective it is. <laughs> but if you're fucking smart, you're going to use your real hand sanitizer and then put this on just as a coat. That's what I do. Um, and this one right here is called Coco Paradise. It smells really good. They had a lot, a lot of good smells. And then this one right here is... Um, Oh shit, what is this? T Turquoise water. So, those were, and I have two more, but they're in the bag. And um, I don't remember what those were, but they smell good. But um, these two were my favorite. So, go check it out. So, that was it. Went to IHOP, had some mashed potatoes. Y'all know I can't eat in. When I tell you they, they put mashed potatoes on a plate for me, usually they'll give you like a bowl if you're having it as a side. Honey, they put that motherfucker on a plate. It was disgusting. It was nasty. I was mad. So that's why I'm eating right here right now. Because it was nasty. All my well, my little associates, they was eating good breakfast and shit and omelets. I'm looking at them. I'm mad like, God damn. But 
you know, it is what it is right now. So I just have to be grateful for me being alive at this point. I can't worry about I can't chew right now. I'll deal with it when I can, you know. But anyway, um, I just want to kind of say hey and check in. I have a little small window of time to be talking. I don't have a whole lot of time. Damn, this is where I'm at. I'm at the light. This is a light. Nah, this ain't no fucking light. Oh, he, his truck is just right there. I'm like, cause I'm finna eat y'all, and I don't, I don't like eating in front of people. So I parked and pulled over to park to eat, and I just see cars like, 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 kind of like stand, like stand still in front of me, like, like, it, like it's a light. I'm like, hold on, I know motherfucking well. I didn't put myself on Front Street like that, but um, it's this diesel that is stuck in the middle of the motherfucking street that's fucking me up right now. So I guess I do got to talk to y'all for a little bit, okay? Um, I hope everybody... But anyway, back to Amir. So I can't eat spicy food, y'all. My bad. I ran on a tantrum. Anyway, so he stopped me from eating spicy food. I thought it was only for eight months. He is eight years old. I still cannot eat no spicy food. He's seven. I still can't eat spicy food at all. Let me know in the comments if you got pregnant and some shit changed in your life forever. <laughs> like, shit you wouldn't even fucking think of. Like, shit you couldn't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can understand, you know, I'm maybe more anemic or whatever, but but my taste buds, like, like, the level of spice, how the fuck did he take that away from me? So, you know I'm charging his ass. You know when he get older, I am charging him, Okay yeah i'm charging i'm charging all my kids for whatever they done to my motherfucking body in the process of birthing them okay or having them birthing and bring them into this world yes i am charging them so my eldest son is getting a charge because i he was no not my eldest son yeah my eldest son because he's the first one that gave, gave me hemorrhoids i had never had hemorrhoids in my motherfucking life okay and honey he gave me hemorrhoids and they come in and out they, they ain't came in a while but honey when they do they come and they give me a lot of trouble and i was not having it before i had got pregnant with his ass so guess what he got to pay me from them hemorrhoids just the pain and me can you know is having it you know what i'm saying i, I need my, my my dividends okay my daughter she was a c-section so that means I have a little piece of meat on my stomach that will not go away. Plus, I have a scar. And the scar that's under my belly is numb. I can't feel shit right there, okay? And when it kind of itch a little bit and I try to scratch it, it feel funny. So she definitely got to pay me for that shit, okay? And then my third baby, he has to pay me that I can never eat spicy food at the fuck all. And right now, we in an era where I want some Chipotle. I want some motherfucking honey chipotle, you know, bar bar barbecue wings, and I can't have them. I got to have some. I can't even have lemon pepper because that's too spicy because of the pepper. I'm tired of that shit. So, yeah, they know already. I have put it into their soul since they was young that, that I need my payment. My payment consists of them making great in their self, great people in life being great to themselves, knowing the Lord, getting a career, figuring out what they want, and being great. That is my payment. And eventually, hopefully, they, they do the right thing and make enough money to be able to give me good gifts when they can. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I want. So we've already spoke about it. I already gave them a bill. They know. Um, But let me know in the comments, y'all. And let me know if you had a craving or it was something weird you ate when you were pregnant and you still eat it. Um, I don't have that. Like, everything that I was... Well, I will say, I never... My, my eldest son was big on meat. He was a meat baby, like oxtails and this and that. I had never had oxtails, so I got pregnant with my son. It was something that he was craving. I was craving. So And I still... And I, I ended up liking them even after being pregnant. So I still eat that. Um sardines i hadn't wait sardines or oysters no sardines i ate oysters in the in the can is it oysters or sardines hold on sardines it's not oysters in the can i ain't never had no oysters in the can uh i, I have them fried but never in yet yeah, no it was sardines um, I ate that when I, I craved that had never ate sardines in my life and one day my husband 
was eating sardines and I didn't know what they were but like something when he came in the room I was I could smell it and I wanted it and I'm like what is this y'all and I started eating the shit and loved it and still love it to this day so it's a couple of things that I took um from you know being pregnant that I still eat and have so let me know in the comments I think that would be real cool um what else y'all what else what else So, um, I can just, you know, just talk to me right now. I'm going to just talk to y'all while I prepare myself to get ready to eat for dinner. So, this is what I got to do. Now, I'm a person that really, truly paid $50,000 for implants, but they fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? So, this is really how I have to eat right now. So, I get two bags. Put one bag in, in here and in, in the other. And I put the reason why I put two bags is because these bags are really thin. And sometimes when I'm suck, oh, so I, let me tell you why I got the bags. So I have the bags because I'll suck on the food. I'll eat a little bit of the food, suck on it, get as much as I can, make it soft, trying to get as much juices, but I won't swallow it. I'll spit it in here. And I've been doing that for two years, you guys, and pay $50,000. Yes, I need to sue the man. I know. Anyway, but the, re uh -oh. but the reason why I double it is because sometimes um, the bags be kind of thin, and they'll start um, kind of ripping. Not really ripping, but looking like it's been a rip. And you do not want spit food ripped in your motherfucking car, especially if you eat in your car. Like, it's never happened to me because I prepare, but you don't want that. Okay, so that's what I had. I have it on the side of me because I'm going to be eating in my car. So I have it on the side of me and I just boop, boop, and move on. Now, people are probably asking, why don't you just, you know, get it so low and then swallow it? Because I, the worst thing is to feel like you're choking. That is the worst thing and nothing is more important than that. My, my whole, my um, throat hole is very small. I'm not going to play with it over no fucking food. food. It's just not that important to me. Um, it is a, a horrible feeling to feel like you're choking. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is a, a horrible feeling. I, I felt it once or twice in my life, and I don't choose to feel it again. Like I said, nothing is more important than, than my life, and I, and I, no food is more important than me risking it, playing. No, I don't do it, period. Now, sometimes I have a greedy throat, and sometimes my greedy throat may pull it in, and if it does, I let it do it, but I don't intentionally try to swallow I just don't. I'm scared. You know, I'm scared. Now, I ain't never did no research, but I know that when you have food, you're supposed to chew it up and swallow. Not, not nothing else. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to chew and swallow. So, if I can't chew, I'm not swallowing. Period. What I can say, I wish I would have never paid that man cash up front. But it's nobody's fault but mine. So we'll get, you know, we'll talk about that later. Um, now, now, since you guys know that I went to the hospital and I have to start eating more. So I've been drinking, you guys know I've been drinking my regular shakes, right? You know, my regular, y'all see me either with a yellow shake, which is peach. Or y'all see me with a red shake, which is my strawberry shake. Well, I had, it wasn't, it was only giving me 120 calories. And that wasn't enough because I really only drink one. I maybe drink two. And so that just wasn't enough calories. So I now have, and it only had 11 grams of protein. So I needed more protein and more calories um, to substitute the things that I don't eat. So this right here has 30 grams, of pro, I mean 30, pro, 30 uh, grams of protein. And I drink two of these, so 30 grams is that 60, right? Yeah, 60 um, grams of protein. And then it has 400 calories. So I drink two of these, that's 800 calories. And then at night, I take an Insure Plus, and I think an Insure Plus is like 400 calories too. You really want to at least have 1,200 calories. You know, that's what the doctor told me. So I do still kind of eat, you know what I'm saying? But I'm basically, you want to say a liquid diet, I would call it, but that's kind of what it is. And so I found a good flavor. It's called nut butter. 
nut butter, right? It has protein plus in it. It's banana honey with um, honey butter and bananas. It's really, really good. And I love Boathouse. I only fuck with Boathouse. I'm just now breaking into Inshore, but um, Boathouse is my favorite. Everything. They're just the purest. I love them. They're just great. Their drinks are good. I just love it. So I'm trying to help myself out. You know, I don't want to be back in the hospital again. I didn't like that. I have a lot to live for. I have people to live for. So I have to help myself the best way that I know how. Slowly but surely. Um, I was really against drinking Inshore because I um, I have been a nurse and, uh, and my grandma also had an elderly home. And so I used to get patients Inshore and that just fucked me up to drink something. I used to get patients, you know, so I just didn't do it. But due to my me almost dying, it was like, okay, I have to, you know, do what I got to do. So, and it wasn't that bad. It really tastes good. I drank a vanilla and a chocolate. I put it in the freezer to make it really cold. I drink it with a straw. It tastes like a protein drink. It's really not that bad. And it's helping my life, you know. So, I just got to do this right now. <clears throat> it, you know, do I regret getting my teeth done? Um, I regret not doing my research. If this was like a booty or something and I had problems, I would regret it and I will be mad at myself because I really didn't need no ass. That was me trying to have people like me or, you know, get a nigga or whatever. I, then I would have felt bad. But teeth is a necessity. Like teeth, teeth are important. And I wanted a nice pair of teeth. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel like I regret it, like I did something foolish. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I, if I do regret anything is not doing my research and finding a surgeon that is good at the, what they do. You know, I went to a dentist and I didn't go to a specialist. And that's a fucking difference, you know? Everybody can't do everything because they got a DDS behind their name. And I didn't know that. So we, this leaves us to where we are today. Uh, now, what made me pay pay um all up front it's because i had it i had it i wanted them to know i was real you told me something you said this is the best one you said this is how much it is i had the money why pay you know half you know i didn't know what i know today now i'm pay I, and, I, and i'm like that i pay everything off like i pay everything if you tell me this is what it is i pay it you know i really i'm not a big debt person i don't like that so that's just how my life go and so i just added that with it you know but never with a big purchase like this should i have done this so that's my fault and that's you know whatever but i know that god got my back and he's gonna make sure that what was done to me whatever had happened will get right and whoever wronged me god will fix it so i'm not mad about it as long as i can stay alive and do my part this may can become a bit a bigger situation you know because this is more than what i i, I bargained for and i don't deserve this so that's that <clears throat> but other than that um i'm, I'm tired so I'm gonna let you guys go. I think I've seen I think I made a pretty good lengthy video talking about a little bit of this and that, letting y'all see my face. So now I'm going to eat now and um because I am sitting in Compton, y'all. And if anybody know, y'all know. If you don't, you know. But I'm sitting in Compton in a very expensive car and um I don't want any issues, you know, which I know I'm covered through the blood of Jesus, but still. Um, you know, I don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. So I'm going to hurry up and eat my food so I can maneuver back to my side of town. But I wanted to send you guys a video because I'm trying to be a little more consistent when I can. Because like I said, I want my, my channel to grow. So make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, comment down below. You know, all those things. Help a girl out. And you guys have a blessed um, rest of your week. Hopefully everyone have a blessed week. And nobody, don't let nobody get to you. Stay on your pivot. Stay on your plan. You know what your plan is. Stay on your plan. Don't let nobody deter you from your plan. Um, know your goal. Work towards it. And you'll be fine. You know. Today I had to do something today. And, I, and dealing with someone else. And the lady energy was so horrible and 
something told not something the, the holy spirit told me hang up and call it cost again so you can get another representative because this bitch is going to fuck your shit up or tell you some wrong information because her whole energy was off i was just able to read her energy and i did not want to get into it with her i didn't want to set myself up for that so i just hung up called back and guess what i got somebody that was so pleasant so easy and it, life was great so sometimes you may have to approach things what i'm saying is approach things two or three times maybe you got to take a take you know uh, you may want to approach it right then and there you may got to take a step back wait breathe do something else and come back at it that's okay i'd rather you do that than to go at it knowing that it don't feel right knowing that shit ain't right and then it become bigger than what it is you know so um that was a pretty good that was a pretty good experience that i i got today um you know and also listen to your intuition listen to your holy spirit listen it'll tell you how to get out of shit you know you be wondering like damn why am i always arguing with somebody da, 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 da. well if you just listen to the holy spirit he'll tell you things where you don't have to argue with nobody he'll show you an exit an exit route you know so that's that um, real quick, my Easter, my resurrection was good. I just took the kids to the park. They had like little paste painting, paste, 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 face painting, um, little games at the park, little one twos. You know, my kids are little, so little one twos. Everybody got an Easter basket. Everybody was happy. Um, and um, that was really it. I didn't do much. Like I told you, the lady catered food with the yams and mashed uh, yams and, um, turkey wings and i got one got a honey baked ham and a honey baked turkey um sweet potato pie chocolate cake yams macaroni uh, potato salad um you know just the whole thanksgiving situation for easter she did for me so we had food and i was a blessing um i had a lot of food i was even able to give some food away so that was a good thing my kids had a quick little um easter egg hunt so it was it was nice I had a pretty good resurrection. Yes, we listened to the word. We heard the word. I told my kids about what it was, told the new kids about what it was and what it is and what they get out of it and aren't they so happy. You know, I did all the ones and the twos and the threes, you know. So that was really it. Um, so if you guys want to tell me about you guys' resurrection, you can comment. I comment back. I do talk to you guys. So, you know, make sure you like, subscribe, share. Share my video, you guys. It helps me out okay i'm only at 400 some subscribers i need to be past like a thousand to start even getting you know noticed and getting a check or getting ads y'all so help me okay all right bye